Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstash.com series on Routers 201 Intermediate Studies. In this segment, we're going to look at blocking websites from within your router. Now, the login information for nearly all routers is the same. Use the same IP address of 192.168.1.1. Most use a login with the username of admin and a password of password. Put this information in the show notes. If your router differs, it will show you in the documentation. For the purpose of this tutorial series, we're using a Netgear model WNR 1000 V2. It's a wireless N150 router. Your router may be different, may be a different brand, but you'll see that once you've logged into your router in the Netgear router, the options are down here on the side and some other routers they're across the top. But for the most part, most routers have similar options in similar settings. So over here, we'll click on Block Sites. Now you see Keyword Blocking. Default is Never. You can do it per schedule, and later we'll show you how to set up a schedule, which means it would be active at certain times of the day, or you could have it always on. Now, using Keyword Blocking, you want to type in words that you would expect to see on sites you don't want, say, your children to visit. So we'll say nudity. We'll click Add Keyword. You can add as many keywords as you want. You can also add domain names. So if you know that your son, for example, has been visiting a site called porn.com, you can add that to your list, and it will specifically block that site. They will not be able to get to the site. You can have a double standard here because you can block your children from certain sites by keywords and by domain names, but you might want to visit those same sites yourself. So you can allow a trusted IP address to visit block sites. You can find your IP address under Attached Devices. We'll talk about that later. You put in your IP address, say Apply, and then this IP address, the computer that has this IP address, would be able to visit these sites while all of the other computers would not. So this is how you can block websites by specific keywords or specific domain names. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.